Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have a special guest from Vancouver, Canada. Willis Turner is the president of SMEI. Welcome, Willis. Thank you very much, Gerhard. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Congratulations on your new book. Uh, I was really impressed when I learned that you wrote The Power of Chat GPT. What made you decide to write a book about it? Well, I've been using AI for about a year now to help uh, streamline business processes and uh, spark creative ideas. So when ChatGPT came out a few months ago, I started looking into it and seeing that there's trem tremendous potential there for us to use it for creative purposes. Give me a practical example on how you've used it. I've used it for a number of things. Uh, one of them is to write outlines for blog posts and also expand on the outlines, being able to uh, create content very quickly and then use a human power to edit it and make it compatible for humans is uh, the key to success with AI and chat GPT. Tell me how long did it uh, take you to write a blog post in the past and uh, how much time do you save with chat GPT? Well, it could take four to five hours to research a blog post topic and then determine what the keywords should be. But with AI, you can collapse that cycle down to about, I would say about an hour for a really comprehensive article. They will actually even suggest, uh, if you write the right prompts into chat GPT, it'll suggest the keywords that will rank and it will also give you the meta tags to use uh, in your description for your article so that it will rank. So there's a number of different things that you can do in chat GPT and using artificial intelligence to really streamline the process. Did you also use it for publishing the book? I did. I used it to create the outline for the book and then uh, expand on the outline. And then it gave me some creative ideas on what to write. Also, uh, one of the chapters in the book is called The Art of the Prompt. And so when you're using chat, that is really the key to success is being able to write the right prompts in order to get the right responses. In the book, I've included over 200 prompt examples that you can use uh, to generate ideas and content. So how do you suggest that salespeople use it? I think salespeople can use it in a number of ways. One of them is to find out about their information about their customers. Also find out what is the language that the customer is using. And you can actually input content into a frequently asked question knowledge base uh, when you get questions from your customers and then create some uh, chatbot responses so that people can find information very quickly on your website. People are really keen now to get information in real time and get it without actually talking to a human. And so you can have human-like responses in your chatbot if you program it properly. Where's that safety check that you need to do to find out whether you are actually following the right advice or publishing the right information. I think you need to verify the sources. When I use a uh, product, there's a lot of products now that are built on the chat GPT engine. One of them is called Jasper AI. And I use that and it has a way for you to connect uh, the output to Google so that it will query and give you uh, sources for the information. This is my Jasper chat screen. Right. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just input uh, a command into here and ask it to give me back some information. And so I'm going to ask it to write an outline for a, outline for a blog post highlighting the accomplishments of Gerhard Schwantner as a sales uh -huh. thought leader. Now let's just see what happens when I do that. I'm going to just toggle on the Google search data so that it will link it to Google as well and it will verify that information and just it'll take just a few seconds and it's going to start generating content and give us back some information. I now have a document here that is pretty comprehensive and it gives me a topic outline. It gives me some background information about your achievements and a conclusion. And then it gives me some source links at the bottom of that article. The Lifetime of Achievement Award by SMEI. That needs to be highlighted in some content on your website or somewhere that it can pull that information from yeah. when it associates with your name. I can actually ask it to do a little bit more. I can say, give me three bullet points of how Gerhard is a sales expert. And then it will 
give me a little bit more information. And I could actually ask it to expand on each one of those and write a blog post based on those bullet points. I can actually turn that into a document. Then I can add H1 tags and uh, subtitles. Um, I can search for keywords and, and then I could copy and paste that right into my uh, blog post software. It is almost like magic. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, all this information. Where can people get the book? It's published as Kindle, hardcover, and paperback on Amazon. So we hope to have it out on Audible as well. My guess is that the art that is on the cover of the book has been generated by AI. True. Also, the description was suggested by AI and uh, the Amazon information, the text that you see when you go to Amazon about the book, the description was generated by using AI. Anybody who wants to learn more, go to amazon.com and get the new book and grow and learn and be more successful. <laughs>